this is Erica with Advanced Integrated Controls here to talk to you about speed tests and their unreliability. Today I'm on my home computer. We're on speedtest.net. We're going to go ahead and click go and see where my internet supposedly stands. Now right here we have ping, download, and upload. Ping is important for gamers who enjoy player versus player games. Download speed test lets you know how quickly your computer can transfer files from the internet back to the computer. So think of this as like streaming search services like Netflix or YouTube. Your download speed affects the quality of viewing on those platforms. Upload tests let you know how long it will take to transfer files or content from your computer to the internet. So this would mean how long it would take for you to upload pictures to the cloud or Google Drive. Now my test is coming in, my ping is at 33, my download is at 38, and my upload just came in at 27. Now, personally, I pay for 300 megabytes per second on um, download speed. And my upload speed, I'm paying for 30 megabytes per second. So that's really close, but this is nowhere near close. You see, I'm not really upset because there's so many factors that come into play when doing these speed tests that this answer really is nowhere near the truth. Go ahead and read the blog. You'll find that the placement of your computer, um, how many devices are connected to the Internet, and being hardwired versus wireless really makes a difference.